Now we have an update on a story we first told you about last night at 6. A city councilor wants to lower the credit card minimum for Providence's parking meters. It's an interesting move at a time when the city's in the process of adding hundreds of meters to raise revenue. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright is here with all the new details. If you use your credit or debit card at a parking meter in Providence, the minimum charge is $2.50, even if you're only parking for a few minutes. Now there's a push to make parking cheaper. Providence City Councilor Samuel Zurier is introducing a resolution to lower the minimum credit card charge at parking meters to $1. When people don't have the coins, is the minimum charge going to be a disincentive for them to patronize our stores? Right now, if you pay in cash, it costs 25 cents to park for every 12 minutes. But using a credit card automatically results in a $2.50 charge. I think there's a question in setting this to balance the fiscal needs of the city against the um, economic consequences of a charge. Zurier is concerned a high minimum charge not only hurts business, but also hurts tax revenue. The $2.50 minimum is not required. Uh, New Haven has a minimum of a dollar. Atlanta has a minimum of a dollar. New York City has no charge at all for use of credit cards. A spokesperson for the city did not respond to a request for comment on Wednesday. Last year, the Jorge Alorza administration converted every parking meter in Providence to accept cash and credit. In an effort to raise millions of dollars in revenue, the city is adding 700 more parking meters, and they're already halfway done. Zurier is planning to bring up his resolution at the Providence City Council meeting Thursday night at 7 o'clock. With the Mobile Newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.